Hi, I'm Phil Needham. It's the 5th of February 2017 and for reasons that will become more apparent in just a moment, I've laid a square of cardboard on the soil surface that's approximately 3 foot by 4 foot in area. So going back to what we're doing here on just a small area that was bare ground last fall, we planted wheat on it just for cover. Uh, we do some test plots in this area, just a, a small area to do some observations generally. And approximately one hour ago, we made a pass with a four row plot planter. It's a four row uh, 3000 series planter with Martin row cleaners on the front, floating row cleaners. We made a pass at this angle one hour ago. And you can already see there's some yellow strips within this image showing where the planter ran and the effect that just gently scratching the soil surface has had on soil warming. Using a soil thermometer, we found that soil temperatures are approximately seven degrees warmer where we lightly scratch the soil surface compared to soil that was undisturbed. So within one hour, the soil has warmed at seed depth seven degrees at approximately one and a half inches depth within an hour. So the, the effect of the sun, and today's not super warm, it's about 55 degrees, but the sun is out beaming down from that angle. And we're absolutely amazed how fast the sun actually warms the soil. In fact, we've been doing tests like this before, and we've actually seen a big cloud come in front of the sun, and just the shading effect over the period of maybe 30 seconds or a minute already has an impact on soil cooling. And that's what, we, what we're simulating here with this piece of cardboard. So here in a moment, I'm gonna remove the cardboard and we should see a clearly defined square where the soil is cooler because we've shaded the ground. And if we was to stand out here another five minutes or maybe 10 minutes, you'd find the soil has warmed back up to the same temperature that it was before we put the square down. A lot of factors involved here in soil warming. The topography, meaning south facing slopes in the northern, northern hemisphere anyway, obviously warm faster. Darker or blacker soils warm quicker in addition to slightly drier soils warming quicker also. The specific uh, requirement of, of water, heat requirement of water to warm it up is obviously much higher than, than bare soil or drier soil. So a lot of factors involved. So let's go ahead and raise up the cardboard and you should see a clearly defined square that shows exactly where the ground was, was shaded with the cardboard. And again, if we was to stand here maybe five minutes, this area would gradually warm back up again and be the same temperature as the soil around it. So when we're looking for uniform emergence of all crops, especially corn, it's really important we start with a uniform soil temperature, placing seeds to the correct depth in an environment that's consistently warm, okay? And in a no-till system, we found that row cleaners are a pretty important part of uniform soil warming. In addition to closing the seed slot, you need a suitable closing system on the back in no-till conditions to close the slot consistently. In this example, we've got Martin drag chains that's lightly dragging a little soil back over the row to uh, close up any areas that wasn't completely closed with the closing system to stop the corn plants leafing out underground. So a little information today about soil warming. I hope you found this useful, especially with the use of the thermal camera. Thanks for watching.